Hey guys, it's Jess, and I am so excited to share that I've been selected as a member of the new Simon Hurley Create team. You guys know that I've been a huge fan of Simon's release ever since it launched at Creativation this past year, and I couldn't be more excited to continue creating with all of his awesome products uh, in the next few months, and also share with you guys a brand new release that's just become available today. I'll have everything linked down for you below. We're gonna take a look at the new release and create some projects as well. I hope you enjoy the video. Let's get started. All right, so I am super excited about this release. And the first thing that we're going to take a look at is actually kind of a throwback to the original release. And it's actually a bunch of die cut pieces of the Dudes 2 stamp set. Uh, so this is really convenient for those times when you just wanted to have some things already stamped out and ready to go. They're already cut out in their perfect little shapes and you can use them on all of your projects. Just color them in and pop them right on. The next thing is a six by six stencil. Now this is a snowflake, uh, and I love that it doesn't have a square edge so that you can really get the most out of it in your projects. We also have a six by six stencil and mask with a nautical theme. This has different shells that you can layer on top of one another. Um, this is kind of resembling the uh, flower maker, and that one is shell maker. Um, so this one is called Sea Floor. It's a background stamp, and we've got another background stamp here that has music notes. So we're kind of flying through the release here, but I will be using a bunch of these products in this video, and then I'll have a second video that will have additional card projects as well so that you guys can get more inspiration and ideas for how to use these products. So you see there that it came apart into different pieces, which was absolutely genius. Now we've got a six by eight stamp set with mermaids and a unicorn and all sorts of nautical goodness that's going to go perfectly with that. And then probably my favorite from this release, the Caroling Squad stamp set. And um, that's going to be the feature of the card that we make in this video today. All right, so now that we've looked at the release, let's go ahead and get started with our very first card. Uh, so I'm going to be doing some ink blending with the Simon Hurley Create ink pads. This first color is called Triple Berry. I like to do my blending this way, so I just start with one of my colors, come in, sort of overlap the colors I've already done, um, and these are more of a transparent ink, so you can see that the colors lay nicely over top of each other. Um, you can definitely blend with them and use them for all of your more traditional ink blending techniques. They are water reactive as well. Uh, if you don't have them, you should definitely pick up the reinkers as well. I'm going to be doing some techniques in some upcoming videos with the reinkers for these ink pads, um, so you'll definitely want to grab those. Uh, so the second color I used was Remember Me, and then now I'm coming in with Over the Moon. I like that you can blend that in and get just a little bit of green there without going a little too crazy. <laughs> and then I'm going in with Woof at the bottom to create my ground. So I wanted to have kind of sort of a sky background, but not really a traditional sky, as you will see. Um, the, the gray down at the bottom is my ground, and then as it goes up, that's kind of just like my sky background. So you can see here what I meant about them being water reactive. It looks amazing. I love doing that splatter effect by just spraying the water directly into my hand and then flicking it onto the paper. And then to add some darker spots, I am going in with the ink pad, just smushing it directly directly on my craft mat, spritzing it with just a touch of water, and then flicking it onto my background. This gives some like added contrast and it helps, I don't know, just adds a little more interest. <laughs> I really like the way it looks, so I'm glad that, that I uh, did that and that it turned out pretty cool. Um, I wanted a little bit darker up at the top, so I did go back in a second time with that uh, triple berry color and added a few more drops. I will be doing quite a bit of coloring here with my Spectrum Noir alcohol markers, so I'm going to go ahead and pop on a little bit of music. If you don't like coloring, I'll have the time that you can go ahead and skip to if you want to just bypass all the coloring, but if not, sit back, enjoy the music, and let's get coloring.
Okay, now that our coloring is all done, let's go ahead and finish the rest of the card. So I'm using my mini Misty here to get my sentiments all lined up and where I want them. I'm also using the creative corners piece there that has the magnet to make sure that my sentiment is nice and straight because I am notorious for having crooked sentiments and a girl's gotta do what a girl's gotta do, right? Uh, so I am using this really hilarious sentiment that says, jingle bells, someone smells, and then in parentheses, it says, I forgot the rest of the lyrics. Um, I just think that this is so funny. <laughs> These little sentiments are so cute. I can't get enough. They're just adorable. Uh, so I'm treating my background with an anti-static powder bag. And then I'm going to use the Ranger White Embossing Powder and melt that with my heat tool. Now I did go back in with the Triple Berry ink over my background. I just used an acrylic block and I wanted more of a tone on tone look. So I didn't do anything fancy. I wanted it to be really subtle. Uh, so I just stamped out some of those music notes and I thought that added a really nice little bit of interest. I did go ahead and glue these little guys down to my background using some matte multimedium. Uh, and then that just had them stick right in place. And then I did go in with some more of my Spectrum Noir alcohol markers and add in little shadowed areas around their feet so that it grounded them and it didn't look like they were just floating in the air. It made it look more like they were actually standing on the ground. That finished off my card for today, and I hope you guys love it and this new release. Like I said, I've got everything linked down below if you want to check any of it out. And I will have another video for you really soon showcasing three more cards that I made with this release, so stay tuned. Have a great day, guys.